Ci troviamo con Emil Iversen alla VAZ durante la preparazione estiva della nazionale uh, norvegese. Uh, the last time I meet you, you have just won the 50 kilometers in uh, Obersdorf. Uh, there was a strange situation that... Uh, they, can you describe that moment? Uh, how um, do you live? that moment because I think it wasn't so simple for it so easy no, for you it was a really strange day uh, the whole day but uh, for me for sure a day to remember forever forever uh, first of all I wanna I what I think most of it is the the shape I had that day I had a, my best shape ever in a competition everything was my skis was perfect my body feels like a million I was almost not tired the whole 50k and it was like a, a dream day and yeah and but uh, and after I finished uh, the finish line second I, it for me it was like a gold and I was so really happy and after some uh, hours I get the gold also but and I was still really happy but it was uh, <laughs> not the best um, way to get it but uh, i get it and uh, i just uh, i need to be happy and proud of myself and i i think i have i had managed to do that after so it was for sure a really a really good day for me and my family and uh, a dream dream come true i think uh, uh, it's personal I, i think you deserve it because uh, uh, you um, race for the team during yeah. the, the, the the race yeah. and, uh, I and for me you, you are the best uh, in the relay too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure it was not like I uh, it was not just like I was uh, one of the guys who were maybe were, were in the best shape that day and uh, yeah so uh, and I did some hard work uh, earlier in the race so I I, I showed uh, everybody uh, that I had a really good day and my shape was really good that day so for sure it was not uh, just luck but uh, yeah uh, I will uh, prefer to come, come first over the line but I will for sure I take that gold and I'm really proud of it yeah. Winning that gold medal or your first individual yeah. medal in, uh, in our championship uh, give you more motivation now? Uh, yeah for sure uh, it, it gives me self-confidence and uh, to show and for myself that I can be at my best shape when it uh, matters the most so uh, yeah for sure my self-confidence until next winter is better for sure and I want to try to surf on that uh, wave <laughs> if we can say it like that and just try to be up here and get more medals and uh, I'm in a good uh, good age for uh, cross-country skiing uh, especially long distance races so um, it's nice uh, to get the Olympic uh, right away after a good world championship so um, I need to just uh, work on. What's your target for the Olympics? This Uh, a specific race, What? a particular race, what's your target for the Olympics? Uh, for me it's just to take an individual medal, uh, then I will be happy, but my biggest dream is for sure to win uh, the 15k classic, that's that's my uh, favorite, uh, been since I was a little kid and that's the race who uh, had made me as good as I am to come on the national team and most of my good races are in the classic and the 15 classic, so that's that's uh, the maybe the cross country competition who are closest to my heart and uh, what has have made me the skier i am so that's my, that's my biggest dream you know we, we are italian so we have a big heaven yeah in uh, 2026 yeah. Uh, so uh, it's possible to have you here i can't uh, we uh, we have uh, sadly for you we have a world championship in my hometown the year before So my dream is maybe to, I will try to come there, but I cannot uh, promise anybody I will. But we we will see how my head is and how my body is. And I take a year, uh, your body needs to respond on the training. So I can't promise anybody that I will be as good as I am now in five years. But I will I will try to stay in the game as long as I can and as, as long as I, I like what I'm doing. Maybe I can come back because... Pyeongchang and Beijing, it, that's not like not not the best places. But if we can have a, it would be a really different case to go to Italy. I raced a lot in Val Femme and Toblak, and yeah, it's amazing to ski here. So I think that would be a really special Winter Olympics, and 
maybe that will give me motivation because I only had the race in Pyeongchang and Beijing and that's like not uh, the winter uh, places maybe for us uh, ex uh, in cross-country skiing. But I, I know that your dream is to win the 50 kilometers in Trondheim. Yeah, my, my dream is to win there and uh, say stop <laughs> and just take my skis on my shoulder and walk home because my apartment is like one kilometer away from the finish line there. So I think that will be a perfect end of my career, but uh, yeah, we will see. Um, can you describe your passion for cross country? Um, how did you start to practice? Uh, I, I grew up in a, in a cross country family for sure. My daddy is uh, the coach for uh, the girls here. And also my mommy has, uh, she still love cross country. She don't train uh, to compete, but she trained to stay healthy. And uh, yeah, so for sure I was born with um, skis on my, uh, my legs, uh, as we say in Norway. And it's been a passion for the whole family. And both my brothers has uh, done the same. Uh, They're been skiers until they were like 22, 23 years old. So it's been, we are a cross-country family for sure, so it's a passion for, uh, we are a little team, can you say, who now it's only me and I'm the star in the family and the boss, but uh, I, I couldn't uh, have been here without my two brothers and my mother and my dad because they have helped me so much uh, the whole way and it's been like a, it's a team, it's a team, it's a team victory, can you say, if I do a good, a good race, so yeah, it's, uh, and I also think it's, Pretty special for mom and dad who have uh, cross country uh, so close to their heart to see their son be uh, for sure it's a dream and but it's like uh, it's not so easy and you can see with my other two two brothers they have not been nearly as good as me so it's uh, it's hard to to manage it but it's uh, for sure really I think it's really rem we will remember that uh, and I think it's give gives the whole family a satisfying to see me as uh, because we are a team and uh, a close family have and have done so much things together to to get there what was the most important uh, teammate in your career uh, I think my maybe my most important teammate was uh, a, a friend from my hometown we, from we were like uh, six years until uh, 20. Uh, we were two guys in, in. I'm from a small town with uh, 3,000 uh, staying there, so uh, we were only two guys in the same age competing together, and we we were like uh, fighting, and uh, but we were really good friends, and I, I think without him, I think I will not have because we had it so much fun together in the training, and we were like doing so much. Uh, stuff strange stuff uh, between guys and like it was fun to train with him so i think he's the most important training uh, partner in my, in my career because if it was not for him i don't think i will it uh, it had been boring to be all alone in that age so uh, it was really important to have a good friend to train with i think